Hey everybody, so it's been super windy last few hours and our Moringa trees that are brand new, they're like 10 months old. They were like 15 feet tall above the house, but they were leaning so much I had to come out here at like five in the morning and I had to hold them like freaking Zeus or Hercules. I had to hold them back from breaking in the wind. I also had them staked. So staked and Jake maced. They didn't fall, but I trimmed the top like six feet of growth off of them to kind of keep them away from the solar panels and at the same time uh, decrease the kite effect. So decrease the amount of leaves so the wind wouldn't blow them over. So let me show you guys what we did with the leaves. We cut the leaves off, we put them into bundles, tied them together, and now we're hanging them upside down on the arbor there. And we're dehydrating them in the wind. And now they'll get crispy after about a day or two, then we'll take them inside and we'll put them in the blender and pulverize them into a powder. And then we'll either scoop the powder into our smoothies like a vegan backyard grown source of incredible protein powder or we'll put them into capsules, vegetable cellulose capsules so we can just pop them in our mouth, swallow them, get the Moringa nutrients and get about our life. So pretty cool little system that we've devised over the years with Egyptian spinach and Moringa to dehydrate it here in the backyard. All right guys, thanks for watching. Grow some Moringa, especially if you live in a hot, dry place. Go vegan. Grow that food at your home. Free yourself. Free yourself of the system. <laughs> don't be a, a puppet to the corporate giants. Stick it to those corporate giants and don't give them your money. Instead, give your front and your backyard your money. I'll see you guys back here next time.